Hey there, it's Trevor here, and I just wanted to do a quick update video for all of our members to notify you of a change that happened with LinkedIn that uh, will have a major impact on what you're doing with your messaging inside of LinkedIn. Now, most of you, probably everybody, has now received the updated uh, messenger or messaging section or inbox or whatever you want to call it for LinkedIn. And you can see that it looks like this now. So it's changed from the old view. It's much more I am like, so instant messaging like. There's some pros and cons to that. Uh, a few different things. Number one, you cannot include a subject line in any of your messages now, which we're actually currently testing to see how that's going to impact the um, the conversion rates on our messages, even though it's a really tough thing to do because, of course, you can't you know, measure open rates on LinkedIn. All you can do is just see how effective it is at getting people to respond when we, you use certain subject lines versus others. But anyway, something to keep in mind there. You're going to uh, want to pay attention to that. What does end up showing up in your inbox, I believe, is like the first, the first few lines here. And I don't know for sure exactly how many shows up in there, but... That's kind of the typical uh, thing that I've been seeing. The other thing that we've noticed too, my inbox here, here we go. So in my inbox, you can see that I've got like Craig sent you a new message, right? So maybe that's what the subject line is defaulting to. I don't know. Hopefully that's not the case. Anya sent you a new message. So it looks like, yeah, it's not allowing us to customize the subject line anymore. So we're going to have to see what kind of impact that has on our uh, open rates. I think for now it's actually might be a good thing because it's new. Some people will be seeing it. But anyways, that's that's one part of this. The other thing is that here's an issue that we had today. So Nicola got a message from this individual here. And you can see that this is part of a campaign that we're running where we're basically just reaching out to people in our target audience and we're telling them, hey, we just launched a new website. You might want to check it out. Um, we also create a number of free done for you solutions that help uh, get you in touch with decision makers. Uh, P.S. Here's a link to some of our case studies. And you'll notice here that they have www. in front of both of the links. And the reason for that is that for the longest time, that's the only way that links would work in LinkedIn messaging is you had to have that www. If you didn't, if you just left it blank or if you put http colon slash slash in front of it, it wouldn't work. Now, Nicola got this response from this individual today. Thanks for the prompt connection and response. I was trying to open the links and they're not working. So we went to go and test it. And uh, just an FYI, this was not done on purpose, but that is funny though. Um, if you click on this little icon here, the little smiley face in the square, notice what you get here now. There's actually all these different types of like animated GIFs or GIFs or whatever you call them that you can use now. And she happened to click on one of them and of course, you know, when you press enter now, um, you can set, turn this off. But when you press enter in this little messenger box, it actually automatically sends the message. So Nicola sent this message of this like 70s porn star looking guy throwing confetti, which was quite humorous actually. And you can see that uh, she made reference to it just so that he didn't think that she intended to do that. But anyways, what she did was she replied back to him and she said, oh, these are the links. They should be working. And... We haven't heard back from him yet, but I thought, you know what, I better test this to see what is actually going on. So let's just open up all four of these because in this case over here, these ones here are actually masked or pretty links. Um, so they're, they're links that redirect to a website. And uh, so I thought that might be causing the issue. So we just gave this person the regular links, leads. that's our homepage, and then this is a direct link to a case study. And you can see already that these are saying uh, your connection is not private, right? Your connection is not private. Your connection is not private. Your connection is not private. This is an issue. And if you look in here, it says HTTPS colon slash slash. So every single link that we've sent this person when clicked on is actually converting over to a secure uh, URL, HTTPS, which is causing an issue. It's making the browser say, oh, these guys are trying to hack you, steal something, credit cards, blah, blah, blah. So what I did was I... I investigated this and I clicked on this advanced one here and our website's actually hosted by um, a close business colleague who owns another website and I thought, you know what, maybe it's an issue with the domain and the hosting and the server and turns out that our uh, system admin guy said, no, nope, it's not an issue with that, but I don't know what the issue is. So I thought, I better do some testing on this. 
So what I did was I actually sent a bunch of messages to Nicola from my own account. So you can see I'm in my account here and I'm sending all these test messages to Nicola. And then here's the, uh, the received messages in Nicola's inbox. And you can see that, you know, I started off with just seeing maybe, maybe it was that person that we sent it to. It might've just been his account that was the issue. So I tried these ones here and let me just delete some of these tabs so this doesn't get unruly. But I tried to send the exact same links to Nicola from my account. And you'll notice error, 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 right? Uh, so then what I did was I tried a few variations of another website because I thought maybe it's just our website that's the issue. So this is actually another uh, website that I have for my sports business and it's www.http colon slash slash and then just the regular domain with nothing in front and then http colon slash slash www. So let's look at these guys. And if I click on all of these, you'll notice the first one which is www takes a while to actually register. And we'll come back to that one in a second actually because the second one here is http colon slash slash. That one worked fine. The next one is nothing in front. That one you can see is still loading. And then the last one is http colon slash slash www dot. And that one worked fine. So the conclusion that I got was hmm, HTTP colon slash slash seems to be a mandatory thing now in order for your, your URLs to actually work in Messenger. And you can see this is just going to keep spinning until it says there's no connection here. The website doesn't work. Um, so again, you know, I didn't want to assume that, okay, maybe it was uh, that this is the case for everything. So I started testing other domains. And you can see I tested lots of variations of uh, these ones here. So this is uh, Yoga Living. This is actually my my mom's website. She's a yoga instructor here in Vancouver. And you can see the first two didn't load, the second or the third and the fourth one did, the fifth and the sixth did not. And again, the three in the middle were HTTP colon, HTTP colon, right? So again, it's it was consistent. So then I thought, all right, let's just keep testing this. So I tried our website again using all these different variations. And I'm just gonna keep clicking through these to show you what happened because it's kind of interesting. Okay, so the first one, which is again, and I did the same order in all of these after this, so it was nothing in front, then www.http, so one and two didn't work, three and four worked, five and six wouldn't even load, okay? And of course, this has a lot to do with how your domains are set up too, it's, and I don't wanna get into the complications of that, but in general, what I determined up to this point was you have to have HTTP colon slash slash in front of your domain. Okay, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to test out a few other things. This is a survey that I, I've created for my uh, my sports speaking side of my business, where I do speaking with student athletes, coaches, and athletic directors around North America, and it's a survey. So I thought I'm going to try this one too, and you can see I did the same variations here. I actually dropped the HTTPS one because I just we would never use that anyways. But in this case, look, all of them worked. Okay. So that's, that was unusual because I thought, why would these ones work then and the other ones don't? And the only thing I can think of is that my system administrator told me that you can actually purchase a, um, a, secure, a secure URL, essentially. It's like $10 or $10 a month or something like that. So I'm assuming that Survey Gizmo has actually done that and that's why their domain works because it's redirecting somehow and the secure the security side of it is um is making it work but i don't know i'm i'm not a technical person and to that degree so i'm just taking a total guess at that but anyways i just wanted to show you that that one did work and then i thought let me use a website that isn't one of my own so one of my own on, on my own server another possible or another very popular one so mashable and you can see i use the same ones here and we got a spinning wheel on the first one. This one's dead. This one here takes a little bit, but it does load up. And the last one takes a second too, and it will load up as well. You can see there, okay? So again, HTTP colon slash slash worked, all right? And lastly, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try a YouTube video because this is another video or another thing that I had in one of my scripts was a link to a video. So I'm gonna see, like, do I need that on my videos too? And you'll notice that it actually worked for every single one of them. And let me just pause all these so that they stop making noise. But 
they all worked. So again, it was another big website, YouTube in this case, and look at it, it actually redirects to HTTPS colon slash slash. So they obviously have a secure connection. They've paid for all the upgrades for all that. So I'm guessing that it's probably a domain thing, some type of an issue with the way that domains are served. And I would venture to guess that 99% of the websites in the world do not have this secure HTTPS feature that they pay for. The majority of them are just the regular URLs. So what I'm going to suggest is that every message that you send using the messaging tool in LinkedIn absolutely has to have HTTP colon slash slash in front of it just to be safe. And you can see that every single one of these variations worked with HTTP colon slash slash in front of it, okay? And if anything like this changes in the meantime, of course, I will update you, I will let you know. Um, we do this every day, which is why I come across this. In fact, as soon as an issue happens, we are on it because of course it affects more than just me, it affects you know all of the clients that we work with and everybody else in between, you guys as well. So uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them uh, wherever you see this video on the page. And if you want more tips like this one, head over to our website at linkedintoleads.com where you're gonna find all kinds of resources, including free trainings. We've got a blog on here that has regular updates and articles posted to it. And then if you scroll down the page here, you'll see that you can sign up for free tips uh, to be able to get more results from LinkedIn. So it'll be articles and videos just like this that you'll receive in your inbox, as well as follow our company page on LinkedIn. You can see there's a button right here to do that. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. You can also follow us on our Facebook fan page.